So, kicking it off uh, is the main investigation that we're diving into right now. Um, that is the Idaho for Massacre um, with Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves, uh, Ethan Chapin, and Zana Kernodal, and uh, Brian Koberger, who is the current suspect that is being held in the Lataw County Jail. And uh, there's some new documents out. So we have been covering them as they've come out, you know, since we were record on Fridays or at the end of the week. Sometimes it's a few days in between talking about it. But uh, they've had two new documents come out on the 18th uh, and the 19th. I think the last ones we covered were on the 12th and 13th. And we have three more well, I'll just go through them here. So on 318, we have defendant's 13th supplemental request for oh, discovery. Oh, dang. Another uh, one. Lucky number <laughs> Bam, 13. bam, bam. Yeah. Is this going to be it? 318, 2024, motion to file exhibit. 319, order to file defendant's exhibit. Now, the first two uh, really, I think, are pretty standard. We've already looked at them. Um, but the, uh, motion to file exhibits are attached also to the 13th supplemental request for discovery. So we're, we're seeing this continued behavior. Now I, I think, has it been the last three times that Ann Taylor and Brian Koberger has been in front of the judge that they've brought up the discovery issues they're having? I think it is. Yep. It has yeah. been the last three hearings. And uh, we've now had two additional since then. Um, so, you know, it goes back to the original question that we keep asking over and over and over and over. And it doesn't get old. Who's holding this up? Is it the FBI? Is it uh, other or organizations? Is it the prosecutors playing games? And people want to know. People have issues with it. People are beginning to turn over in droves the idea that this is a fair trial. You know, I, I, and what's interesting is I see a lot of people talking about this where. A lot of people are bringing up this idea that, you know, it, it's interesting seeing the prosecution talking about, hey, you know, one of our main focuses is making sure Brian Koberger is getting a fair trial. Uh, but then the actions we're seeing are the opposite of that. You know, is that going to cause issues in the trial? Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, uh, interesting um, thing that I didn't realize what? When you remember on the podcast, I think it was two weeks ago, um, we're on episode 36 today. And so I think it was like episode 34, maybe uh -huh. we talked about um, John Webb, who was a reporter who tried getting the uh, financial records of how much has been spent on this case in the courts. Um, and he reached out to, for some reason yeah. to the prosecutor. We're like, why did you reach out to the prosecutor? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, that man, I found out from a recent documentary that was done by either a girl from the UK or Australia. I can't remember. Um, she talked to him in her documentary. He personally knew Ethan and Santa. Wait, that reporter. Yeah. Oh. He literally went to school with them. Oh, so I'm like, wait, is he Sigma Chi? How did he know them? Is he Sigma Chi alumni or like actual Sigma Chi and just graduated? That's interesting. That's interesting. That's worth is, looking into. Isn't sure. it? Yeah. I had to bring it up because yeah. I was thinking about it and I was like, wait, he went about it. It was such a weird way. Yeah. You don't reach out to a prosecutor to ask for financial records. No, um, no. About a court case. Like, that's not what is typical or standard. You reach out to the county clerk like anybody yeah. else. You, you put in a FOIA. Like, that's, that comment from Bill Thompson that we talked about in that video was, was the fair way, trial. Yeah. Comment. And, and way left field, too. Whereas, uh, 
there that was there's no reason for that to be there like what i would expect to see fair media coverage fair media coverage is if you're going to ask the prosecutor when the prosecutor has no say in whether you can get that information or not then why aren't you asking ann taylor as well the defense you know if fair is both sides equally because as far as the court can see it. Brian Koberger is innocent until proven guilty. Therefore, every decision made within that arena needs to be done in a way where you're acting fair, both you know, sides. What's also really, attention. really interesting to me is that, um, you know, he says that he wants the whole reason they didn't give over that information was for one judge, judge doesn't have access to it. He doesn't determine how much the defense gets. Um, you know, for the case, he doesn't determine any of the money, really. Mm -hmm. Um, well, they didn't want to disclose that because they didn't want to hinder his right to a fair trial. However, they only give Ann Taylor and his lawyers, Jay Logston, Ann Taylor, Jay Logston, their salary, but not the prosecutor's salary. I know it's so shady. It is how so do, shady. like that. I feel like hinders his right to a fair trial. If I'm being honest, it's not fair. And people are literally judging how much she's getting paid and acting like he's getting this uh, white glove treatment. Like they're afforded every luxury. They get paid so much. They can have whatever they want, as much money as they want. He's up in jail you know, you know, sipping tea and eating vegan meals that are like so healthy and good for you. He doesn't have to wear cuffs when really he does have to wear leg devices yeah. like, you know, no, like Ted Bundy did. Up. Let's be real here. He, that device is a cuff just because he it's can't not run. wrist cuffs. That doesn't mean anything. And that has never been standard. No. And you don't usually you don't have to be like tied down like that or like cuffed to the table unless you're a problem yeah. unless you are showing right. you're a risky person yep. that's willing to do things like taylor shabiznes exactly. spitting and yeah. hurting people she had to wear a spit mask yeah no you know? exactly um and that's a good call out too i think that's really the way richard allen is chained up that is not typical and that is like people are looking at that like why is he they why are they chaining yeah, him up that's like not that the standard yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he's not really getting white glove treatment. He's um, still has a cuff on. He's eating peanut butter sandwiches. He's not getting salads and, you know, uh, all of the best vegan supplies that yeah. you know what I mean? No, like I vegan do. in jail is there's no way it's even that good for you, to be honest. Like he's probably missing out on a major part of his nutrients. Like yeah. B12 and all of these things that you can actually really get sick after a while. So hopefully, hopefully there's some kind of standards where they make him ingest certain things. But I don't know. Yeah. You I, know what I mean? Because there are some things that can happen that are really dangerous with veganism. If you're not taking some supplements or doing eating some certain things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. That can go so many different directions. It's peanut butter though. sandwiches, I, man. I and like it, fruit. But and like what I mean like canned is fruit. if you're a criminal, uh, then your vegan meals should be vegan uh, for a health reason. Otherwise, I personally don't believe the jail should cater to that. Well, it, it has needs to, be, to be a health reason or a religious, religious belief yeah. or something of that nature. Uh, otherwise, in my opinion, I don't believe the jail should be catering to that with how much extra money it costs and stuff like that. But regardless, like that doesn't matter to me. The whole point in all of this, right, in all of this pony show that we're seeing is uh, justice for the four victims. And all this drama that this focus on how much Ann Taylor is getting the uh, money and Brian Koberger, yeah. what he's getting in jail and everything like that, it, it takes everything away from the actual focus on justice like why do you care about that you care about that because you think and you have been led to believe that brian koberger is without a doubt guilty and in my right. opinion it's better to take a step back objectively look at the facts before you make your decision uh, however, I understand that, you know, society is what it is. I get it. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to keep 
looking at the case and we're going to keep talking on these topics and trying to look at all these details objective and with you. So um, that's all I'm asking for with all this is a little bit of objectivity. I agree. Yeah. And uh, I feel like because uh, all that I mentioned is it's all a bunch of drama, to be honest, talking about all of that. But yeah. It is drama and it is unfair. Um, but, uh, you know, I I think that the Thought Riot podcast viewers are smart enough to see those things and oh, ask yeah. the question why. The, the most important question in the world uh, is why. You know, every situation, it doesn't matter where it comes from, we should be asking why. Like, why are we getting that information? Why is that question being asked? Why is the answer important? Why is it being presented in this way at this time? You know what I mean? I think those things are really important. But uh, anyways, let us know what you think about these two new uh, reports, and uh, we'll read them on the true crime talk show. So, uh, you know, come find us over there next. Yeah.